Have you ever wondered how traffic lights in your community actually work? In Orange County, Florida and around the country, keeping traffic flowing smoothly is more complicated than you might think. We go inside the silver box to learn more. I just went yellow. The other side's gonna go green. We want traffic to flow efficiently and everybody's uh, doing their best uh, to, to make that happen. The frustration that comes with traffic has to do with capacity. There's only so much room on the road for the vehicles and so uh, in order to improve the traffic flow you're going to have to increase capacity. We manage probably about 300 intersections in Central Florida. In Orange County alone, if you take all the cities and unincorporated Orange County and uh, you add them all up, we're probably pushing 1,500 traffic signals uh, or more, maybe closer to 2,000 just in Orange County and Seminole County for sure. There are several agencies that we need to work with. First and foremost is our client, which would be um, the, the local government. Uh, so we work with um, uh, t generally the uh, city, county engineer, public works department, uh, and uh, we go over their needs and, and what they're looking for. And in every case, they're working with the, the Florida Department of Transportation. The biggest advent to uh, public safety has been the countdown pedestrian signal, which has aided the pedestrians in having the knowledge of how much time do they have in crossing the street as opposed to a, a flashing hand that said, this starts flashing and you had no idea of how much time you had left. Uh, the countdown tells you precisely how much time you have left. At every intersection, there is the traffic signal uh, cabinet that controls the traffic signals. We have the control unit which has been programmed through the engineering design. And so the program has different movements. We have uh, eight standard movements of traffic, the four left turns and the four through movements. And then we have the pedestrian signals, the, the, the four movements of the pedestrian movements concurrent with the green light of the through traffic. These are detector amplifiers. The amplifiers uh, are telling you where the vehicles are going to be and what's going on. They are sending information to the control unit. Now the controller is literally turning the red light on and off. It's turning the yellow light on and off and it's turning the green light on and off. A new traffic signal is probably going to run you close to $250,000 per intersection. The Department of Transportation has an interlocal agreement with the local city or county on state roads that says uh, if uh, we build the road and we build the traffic signal, you're going to take over the management of that. And so all the costs associated with managing and operating the traffic signal falls back on the local uh, government. But new technology uh, is slow coming because of the safety factors. Uh, DOT is very specific about what they will allow to be integrated into a traffic signal system. When you really boil it down, it, it comes back to safety and efficiency. And being safe is the most important thing. 